Hello, you guys. So I have been one of the few veterinarians in the world that, probably the first actually, um, <laughs> that I'm really tired of people talking about sacroiliac, right? The SI is out or the SI is the problem. There are changes to the sacroiliac joint, but people don't understand biomechanically or anatomically how a horse works. And that if there was, if you could actually adjust the SI or you could actually, uh, if the SI, the sacroiliac joint was actually moving, um, how that would be absolutely debilitating to the horse. So here is the actual sacroiliac joint. This is the ilium and here's the other joint here. On, oops. Yeah, well, you know, these things happen. <laughs> this is the SI joint, the sacroiliac joint, where the sacrum attaches to the ilium. Here is the other side. And this goes just like this. Just like this. This is a very strong ligamentous attachment to, to remove this from this ilium takes a very, very sharp scalpel blade, very sharp. For, I'm gonna move this a little bit. There are three ligaments. There is the dorsal ligament, the interosseous ligament, and the ventral ligament that attaches the sacrum to the pelvis. If the sacrum, if the sacrum is is moving like this, the horse would not be able to walk. This is such a painful injury in any athlete or human or dog. Sacroiliac injuries are, are severely debilitating. The same thing would happen in a horse. So this doesn't move. So what is moving? This is where the dis, oops, this is real live. This is real live video in a veterinary clinic. <laughs> what is moving? Here is L6, vertebrae, transverse process. And what is this? Let me take this out. What is this and what is this? Well, that's something that the veterinary profession does not even talk about. They are called intertransverse joints. This is the lumbosacral joint here. And this is L6S1, L6S1 intertransverse joint. That moves. If this is attached to the horse at the sacroiliac, where the sac sacroiliac and the ilium attach, sacroiliac, this whole thing, this ilium, and the sacrum, they move. The whole thing moves together, and this joint here prevents it to happen. Just like this. If we're going to look at this sideways, this is the sacrum and the ilium together moving like this at the, this inner transverse joint to allow a horse to sit. It is not the sacroiliac joint. Now let's add a little bit on to this so people understand. The horse has inner transverse joints. Let me get this in my one hand. Inner transverse joints, this is L L5, L6. Here, here, and then let's add another one. They can have them all the way up to L4, but this horse does not. It has it from L6 to L5 only, and L6S1. So there are two inner transverse joints. And so what moves is the facets and the inner transverse joints to allow this horse, the sacrum and ilium, that is such a strong attachment that if, it, if there were severe problems there and you could adjust it, this horse would be crippled. But this is what moves not the sacroiliac joint. So you go, so you think, okay, so why are we injecting it? 
has the veterinary profession made such an illogical focus on this? You can see here that this horse does have remodeling and changes here and here, as you can see, there, let me zoom in. You can see the changes that correspond to these changes. But these changes, these changes hurt the horse. But if you look here, what else is remodeled? The lumbosacral joint on this side, on both sides actually. And if you flip this upside down, you see all this remodeling to the inner transverse joints too. This is extremely painful to these horses, extremely painful. And so when, let's add the next one, you can see all this remodeling here. Those are the things we need to focus on. Those are the things that move. The sacroiliac joint doesn't move. And the reason why, oops, sorry guys for the noise. The reason why there's remodeling here, and most of the time it's here on the dorsal aspect, the dorsal aspect is because there's significant pain here. And over time, these micro tears happen. You don't see a lot of remodeling down here. And I have another ilium here. I have another ilium here that I'll bring in. And you'll see the same pattern. It's here on the dorsal aspect that we'll see the majority of the remodeling, and some on the ventral, but mainly on the dorsal. And if we attach, I don't have a sacrum. I don't have a sacrum for this ilium. But there are changes. I see the majority of the changes on the dorsal aspect. There will be changes on the ventral aspect also, but those are slow micro tears. I hope this makes sense to you and why you should not allow your veterinarian to focus only on the sacroiliac, to focus on the lumbosacral joint, which you can see here in this horse is very, very remodeled and painful, and inner transverse joints. Please educate your veterinarian and send them to this YouTube video so that they can understand that they're focusing, they need to anatomically and biomechanically understand how a horse truly works. Thank you.